The space is 400 square feet. It's tiny, but it's nice and bright. It has a lot of windows. I love living in a small space. I found it a challenge to decorate it, but I do love it. The vision I had for this space was to create a cheerful, bright atmosphere, something that I love to come home to every day. I'm a big fan of lots of color and patterns, so immediately when you walk into the space, you do notice that. There's a lot of bright color, there's a lot of white, but I sort of did it so it wasn't too overwhelming. So immediately when you walk into the entryway, I wanted it to be really impactful. So I painted the doors a high gloss black and I did a horizontal stripe on both of the walls. I really wanted to create sort of an airy outdoor feel in the apartment. So I had my painter power sand the ceiling. He did a semi-gloss sky blue. It's actually Benjamin Moore blue flower and it's a great effect. I absolutely love it. So I knew that it had to sort of have two zones, a living area and a bedroom area. And I worked with several different furniture layouts. The one that is there now is probably the best. It divides it really well without having to use sort of a screen or a dividing wall of any sort. At the end of my bed, I did create a seating area with a sofa, a small coffee table and a couple of chairs and grounded it with a large dark wood cabinet where I store all of my items. It's actually a china cabinet, but I don't really use it as that. I use it to store my TV. I use it to store some books and magazines. And then in the bottom, I have all my shoes. I knew that I did want to be able to seat about five or six people in here. And so that was a challenge to begin with. But what I did is I have my love seat, but I purchased two fabric X benches that I can stick under my console. So they're out of the way when I'm in here by myself, but when friends and family come over, I can pull them out. And I have seating for about five to six people in the end and comfortable seating as well. I am a big fan of pattern, and I knew that if I wanted to do a bold pattern, I wanted it to be sort of repeated throughout the apartment. So I did find a great blue and white eye cat that I fell in love with. I did it for the drapes, throw pillows, cushions on my bamboo chairs, and for my X benches. And I think that it lends a really cohesive look to the space. One of my favorite pieces in the space is a chinoiserie celadon colored lamp that I inherited from my grandmother. And it was really sort of an inspiration as far as color for the space. I love the shape of it, and I have it on my console table. I love how it works with all of the other colors in the space and I think it's a really great piece. So the console table slash desk slash dining table is a great piece to have in the space. I use it for everything. I use it to sit down with my laptop. I use it to you know, have a drink with a friend or do my work at, so it's a great piece for the space. So for the bed, I decided on a really punchy coral red linen fabric, which I did for the headboard and the bed skirt. And to tone it down a bit, I just kind of settled on all white bedding, which I think is a really nice contrast. It tones it down a little bit. For my side tables, I did have smaller side tables with just a tiny little drawer for bits and pieces, but I did notice that I was really missing extra storage with lots of drawers. So I did go to Ikea and I purchased two Malm three drawer dressers. They're white, they work perfectly with the space and I'm really in love with them. The storage is great and they provide a great surface for styling and flowers and all of that beside my bed. Above my bed, I really wanted to raise the eye up. So I had a collection of blue and white plates, um, some blue Mikado, some blue sort of chinoiserie style plates that I had inherited, and it creates a really, really nice wall. When I first saw the space, the kitchen was just very plain. So the first thing I did was I chose a dark charcoal taupe and painted it out, ceiling and all. I just kind of created a really cozy space, and it sort of differentiates it from the rest of the apartment. I also added a white bamboo chandelier that I put on a dimmer so I can really have it on low light which really creates a nice effect in there. I am lucky to have a little bit of an outdoor space with this apartment which is really nice. I purchased some dark wicker furniture, black cushions and I had some black and white fun bolsters made just to kind of brighten it up a little bit. I found some fabulous double topiaries at HomeSense which I love and I just put down a nice neutral sort of sizal rug outside and it's something that I use all the time. I do work with a lot of color and pattern every day at work, but I also love coming home to it at night. I sort of treat my space almost like a laboratory. I'm always changing it, I'm always switching things around, and it's just sort of like an experimental space for me. I've only been here for two years, and it is only 400 square feet, but it's always such a nice place to come home to at the end of the day.